Managing a city requires lots of infrastructure, both physical and technical. Join us in historic downtown Austin, Texas, as we talk to SADA Systems about their dot map solution for managing projects. John, thanks so much for joining us today. Tell us a little bit more about SADA. Yeah, so SADA um, kind of started with a, a really kind of basic partnership with Google, I would say upwards of 10 years ago, maybe even a little bit more, um, kind of being one of their trusted resellers for Google Maps and G Suite and then ultimately Google Cloud. Um, I think we've become one of their kind of go-to services partners in the space where they can kind of rely on SADA to help bring um, an implementation of, like I said, kind of Maps, G Suite, um, Google Cloud from start to finish. Um, obviously, Google gives these great tools for companies to build products and, and uh, build workflows, but they don't necessarily get into the services world with it. So they need these trusted partners, I think, that have a lot of experience and, and developers and engineers that Google can trust um, to help bring those projects, like, again, from start to finish and allow for a, a proper rollout and a proper implementation. So tell me a little bit more about what Dot Maps does. What are the selling points for it? Yeah, so Dot Maps is focused, it's kind of a more of a niche product where it kind of has a specific need within the city. Um, most of these cities, what they have is they need to coordinate capital improvement projects that are internal to the city. So those are um, repairs to, to streets and roads and things like that, signs and signals. Um, and then they also have to coordinate those internal city projects with outside utility groups, such as gas and electric. Um, water and things like that. The biggest problem these cities have is basically aligning with those utility groups that are on the outside of the coordination efforts within the city. And I think giving an application that really incentivizes these groups to work together and collaborate on an easy to use platform is why we're seeing such great ROI numbers with Dot Maps. So what does Dot Maps actually do? Like what does it involve yeah. when people use it? So really at its core, Dot Maps is gonna be conflict resolution. So really what you have right now is you got a city that needs to dig up, um, you know, First Street and they have a major project, but you also have these other outside groups that need to do work in the city in the right of way um, in addition to the city. So being able to properly coordinate that work um, between the city and, and share materials and costs and make sure that you don't have groups showing up to a construction site at the same day at the same time. So this is kind of like a, a tool to help centralize all of those different things going on at once to communicate them better. How has the reception been for the tool besides just ROI? Reception has been great. Again, I think the adoption rates speak volumes. I think in DOT, your adoption rates are everything. If you can't get people excited and onboarded properly to these softwares, they tend to end up in kind of the IT graveyard, I kind of call it within DOT. What makes the DOT and public sector as a whole different from the rest of, well, private sector? Uh, I would say, you know, just their willingness to take risks with some software, like I was saying, I think that they've been kind of duped to some extent by some vendors over the, the last couple of decades when it comes to software. And, you know, I think that they really want to mitigate risk as, as much as possible, um, especially when you're using taxpayer money and government money to be you know, buying these pieces of software. So if you can get in there and show that you can actually do what you're saying and prove that out and then really generate some real ROI numbers, I don't see there, there's any reason why the DOT wouldn't continue to work with you, but it's all about proving that you can do what you're saying that your product can do before the city, I think, trusts you enough to say, let's go to some of these more robust use cases, these more high dollar infrastructure projects, things like that. And that's a big reason that Dot Maps has been so successful. Absolutely. I mean, I think, again, it's all about the ease of use with Dot Maps. It's a very, again, niche product. And I think there's not a lot of players that are doing it as well as we are. And if you can get in there and you can see big wins in cities like Chicago and Seattle, um, you can prove out that you can work with any size city at that point. You know, cities with a lot of one-way streets, cities with a ton of construction, cities with tons of, of cranes and construction management going on. Those are big use cases for these cities and there's millions of dollars at stake and making sure that you get these projects done, coordinated, and then really communicated out to the public as well. Um, I think is crucial. You know, the government always wants to try and be transparent um, to some extent with the public and let them know what's going on. Um, that's why with Dot Maps, we actually rolled out a public portal as well. 
So there's a, a very easy to use, you know, Google base map type public portal where anybody that's, you know, in living in that city can go in and actually subscribe to their, their regions, um, figure out when construction is gonna be happening. If I'm a business owner, I can also set up a, alerts and emails that will come through. So if roads or the right of way is gonna be shut down in front of my business, I'd like to know that. So those are just some of the, the ways that we're being, or helping, I guess, the government be more transparent about what they're doing. And again, just kind of keep that flow of information going from not only the DOT, but also to the public as well. Awesome. Well, John, thank you so much for coming in and telling yeah. us more about public sector in the cloud. Yeah, appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching and stay tuned as we continue to talk with Sada about public sector solutions.